I can beat this thing. Thanks, thanks. Why, 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 why? That thing out loud. It's thinking. Well, hello, retro game players. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Marcus, and I'm here to show you guys my latest project from Malibu Mode 7. It's a music video album that only plays on the Sega Dreamcast. And yes, this is a fully working Sega Dreamcast indie release. So it's a, it uses a mill CD format. So your Dreamcast does need to have mill CD support, but many of them do. It's like, I don't know, a large percentage. Basically plays all 10 tracks from the Blue Crush album, which I released in like 2019, but then over the years worked on music videos and released them on the channel here. So, um, my friend Ian Backer, he did, he edited five of those videos. I did five of those videos and they've been, you know, slowly being released or on the channel, which is cool. And I compiled them all onto this and um, was able to create this. So I'll give you some more background on this. But first up, Malibu Mode 7, uh, Blue Crush. This is the original CD. And um, this came out in 2019. It first released on Bogus Collective, which is run by Twin Pines Malls and uh he's amazing um this was all their art he helped me out with uh much of the art on this but also was sort of a good proponent for me musically to just help me get some exposure on his label which is really cool um so yeah that was awesome uh and then i actually made a cd of it this is it it's a digi pack and i've sold it on my band camp it's like retro wave chill wave um, and I use, you know, old synths. I do play bass, guitar, that kind of stuff. Sometimes drums, uh, but they're usually like electronic drums. And I have like a MIDI sax. And then the other thing that's crazy is I use a YM2612 chip from the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. So, um, and that's a real chipset. It's not, um, it's not an emulated thing or anything. It's actually like a, uh, it's called the Mega MIDI. And um, I've shown that in different videos, but I use it to create some of the really cool like textures and sound and stuff. So anyway, um, that's what this album was. And then a few years later, this was more recent. This was, I think just this year, I did Pink Crush. And this got a release over on Power Lunch Corp. And uh, when that came out, it was actually a tape release, like a cassette tape release. Um, and those sold out pretty quick. I do have a few at Galactics in Astoria if you are around locally and want to pick one up they're over there um, but anyway I made this CD as well so you know that's cool but um, I finally got this thing done and what it is again is the 10 tracks all the music videos that I worked on with Ian and uh, threw them up on a Sega Dreamcast album so I'm gonna be selling these at Portland Retro Gaming Expo um, but I'm also gonna release them on October 6th on my Bandcamp page and so they're gonna be available over there on the 6th, that's Bandcamp Friday, which means they don't take a cut of the money, which is great. Um, the cost is gonna be $25 plus shipping. I know that's not cheap necessarily, but at the same time, this is a full indie release. It's not a CDR. It was pressed using a glass master and all the art is extremely professional. It's gonna come to you shrink wrapped and um, yeah, I've, of course, it took me a ton of time and I'll get into how much time here in a minute, but um, I will be selling them at PRGE for 20 bucks, which is sort of a show special. I'll be there from the 13th through the 15th. I'll have a booth. Um, I'll have some guests come by. Reggie will be there. Nunyub's gonna pop by for a little bit, so it should be pretty cool. Um, I'll also be selling some other random stuff because I think that's like my fifth time with a booth there. So I'd love to see you guys. Um, I'll also be selling copies of the CD for Pink Crush for eight bucks, and I'll have Blue Crush on CD for eight bucks too. These are just digi packs, but anyway, this is a full on like clear jewel case, just like an old Sega Dreamcast. Let's uh, go ahead and put it in. I wanted to show you guys an opened version so you can see the back. I know it's not the greatest uh, quality, but if you check out the photos on Bandcamp, they'll be really high quality images. So, but when you open it up, you know, I've got the credits here, Twin Pines Mall. Um, Mr. Neo240, I'll talk more about him. He's been amazing. And then uh, my friend Ian. But like I said, 
clear jewel case that was super important and then um, it's a pressed CD so not a CDR it's definitely high quality so let's throw it in here when I first started to like look around on how I can make a Dreamcast music video album um, I found guides on how to just throw together like a movie for example but there was no controls you couldn't pause it or fast forward it or there was no menu and I just didn't like that I thought that that was um, just not gonna work especially with 10 tracks and I wanted people to be able to like skip to a song if they like a particular song or whatever um, so anyway so this is track one it just does auto it auto plays but then if I hit the a button uh, the menu comes up and I can go through and I can skip songs but I can also go to menu here and it actually shows me the real menu which is our video track menu um, so once this is up I can go over to the songs like this or the track forward and skip through each each one so these are all the different um, thumbnails pretty much from each music video as I was putting them up on the channel um, Tetrix and Chill was probably the most popular one from at least on YouTube um, and then some of these other ones are I don't know I like them all you know um, and some of them sound more retro than others because some of them use more of like Sega instruments you know versus just regular synths but you can also go to um, this repeat and then info just kind of shows you like more like when you hit play it'll be it'll show you like the track info and then crazy enough internet actually loads a web browser I'll try and remember to show you that at the end because um, it's kind of funny so if you have a Dreamcast modem you know you should be able to uh, check that out now again there is a little bit of a delay because I'm capturing this okay so let's put on Tetrix and chill all right so basically um, as I had mentioned I looked online found this guide and it was like all I could do is just throw together all the you know videos together into one giant thing and there was no way you could use a controller I then found this one really cool resource um, by Mr. Neo 240 and he's actually uh, been really helpful um, but his guide was lengthy and a little tricky to do but I was able to get it at least some you know test discs where I only had like three songs and anyway I couldn't get it to work um, I completely I tried and tried all these different methods finally I reached out to him on like um, a Dreamcast forum and he got back to me and he was like send me your files let me look at it and I sent it over and he's like oh man I'm so sorry you're missing this one like zero kilobit file that needs to be in this directory and my guy didn't have it and I'm really sorry but it should have been in there as soon as I put that in there my test disk worked and so then I was really off to figure out how to make it work um, as I started adding the video tracks um, I wanted to maximize their quality and so that took me so long and so many trial and errors I mean I, I burned so many discs um, trying to do that but uh, in the end I also even I even came up with this idea I was like well it looks like the mill CD uh, because actually Twin Pines Mall was helping me on the art and he was like hey do you want me to put on here that it plays in on an, on an audio CD player too and I was like, oh, maybe let me let me look into that. And so I started to look at the guide from Mr. Neo and I found the instructions on how to make an audio CD. So I started to do that. But what I really didn't understand is that the audio files take up like 50 megabytes. And so because they're WAV files and they're like, you know, t they just take up they're un uncompressed, basically. So when you have 10 of them, it takes up like 400, 500 megs and that only leaves you a tiny little bit of space for the video files so I did it and then I saw how small the video files were like they they looked really terrible you know I mean and I didn't want that I wanted this to be like as high quality as possible so what I did was I played with that bitrate I, th I threw the idea of an audio CD out the window I was like nah that's okay like I already have you know the audio CD anyway so it wasn't that big of a deal but 
Um, I just kept playing with the bit rate and I maximized it as much as I could and through tons of hours. I honestly spent probably a hundred hours, like easily a hundred hours refining and tweaking it. And I was able to get it up to the max of what I could reach as far as the disc. Um, the disc can hold, I think it was 700 megabytes and I was able to get this image up to 697 megabytes. And once I did that, you know, I was like ready to rock. So um, then of course, refining the artwork with Twin Pines Mall and then um, started production of duplication. And that was also tricky. I had to find somebody that would even do a clear jewel case. Um, that's hard to find now, which is hilarious. And the people I used um, for my digipacks, they didn't do it. Um, they were like, sorry, good luck with that though. So anyway, that's how I figured all that out. And in the end, I'm really happy with it. It's, I'm a massive Sega fan and having this be on a Sega platform is kind of a dream come true for me. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope that there's some, you know, I hope that there's some love from the Dreamcast community at least as far as having something that's like super weird. Um, but I don't know, I'm really, you know, I, I've thought about it too and I'm like, I think that having like things come out on the Dreamcast, of course, is great, but uh, the music video side of it, I think is really cool too. And it kind of makes me just think of like how, you know, music videos were so important back when I was a kid um, and even Dreamcast days, you know? So anyway, there you go. That's that's going to really show you. I'll show you the internet browser here too. Um, let's see. So if I just hit the A button, the menu comes up. Oh yeah, and I'll show you too. You can go here to like uh, info. And info just shows you the track, which is kind of cool. But anyway, all right. So this is this is the crazy part. So if you go to the internet... It's like, are you sure you want to leave? I actually don't know what that says. I don't have the Google Translate. But it takes you right in to a web browser. So if you have a Google modem, I mean a Google modem, a Dreamcast modem, you could probably go check out Google. Or maybe AOL. You've got mail. Maybe GeoCities. But it is pretty funny. So there we go. And I don't know what it's saying but it, if you accept it like takes you to whatever this is configurating your modem it's just pretty hilarious so again special thank these are all the numbers it's so funny i don't know i wonder if it'll i think i've played around with this just a little bit is that a chaos emerald I think it is okay i'll stop that i think that's pretty annoying anyway um i'll end out of here i hope that um i'll put a reminder up too but yeah october 6th is when it'll be on the band camp i'll put a link down below i'll also put a link to the um videos as a playlist and i've been thinking maybe i'll do like a um like a full capture of this too, which might be kind of cool. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I hope it's something that's uh, definitely out there and maybe you haven't seen before. So until next time, you know what you're going to do? You're going to keep that shit retro by playing Malibu Mode 7 on your Sega Dreamcast later on.